briefly uh, the national national restaurant association of india represents both uh, indian foreign brands small restaurants chains service providers uh, we have over 1100 members across 20 states a lot of the work we do is advocacy with the government to help with licensing and over licensing which is a big uh, issue in our industry uh, also training seminars uh, and uh, which are of our own and on specific ready uh, topics for restaurant managers and restaurant owners uh, participation in industry events like this and uh, and we do a lot of networking events. Uh, we have a range of state chapters uh, across India and are growing very rapidly. Uh, I have uh, was earlier the CEO and a co-investor at Nirulas uh, for six years till April 2012. I have recently set up uh, Tasanaya Hospitality Private Limited, which is offering a range of advisory consultancy services to restaurant chains, service providers, uh, both restaurant chains and service providers in India looking at expansion or fundraising and those from abroad uh, trying to get their products or concepts into the country. Uh, on the topic, uh, a brief, so we're going to talk about advantages and disadvantages challenges of private equity investment, uh, uh, advantages of having it, challenges and issues in having private equity investment or VC investment in your company. Uh, we're also going to talk about the legal issues uh, from a sell side, so from the restaurant's perspective, Seema will cover issues which you should be careful for, you should look out, what are the watchouts. Uh, and then we're going to really talk about the different types because PE, VC is only one type of funding. Uh, you know, there are various types of funding, you can get debt, uh, there's angel investments, high net worth individuals. Uh, which come with a whole lot of less uh, strings and requirements than PEs ask for. Uh, 